Never let yourself be the victim. Having that mindset does two things for you. One, it makes you come across helpless and weak, and no one wants to come across that way. Or two, it does not get you to where you're going. It does not change the situation. There was always a way to get what you want. There was always a way to position yourself to move away from what you don't want. I had a conversation with myself. I stopped being the victim. I stopped complaining and I asked myself, what do I want? What is your purpose? What is your goal? And my life changed because I made a decision to never be the victim again. When things become difficult, when things become challenging, your one job is to find a way to figure it out. The difference between successful people and everyone else is that they move toward what they wanted. They didn't cry or groan about the problems or they didn't look for sympathy. Those at the top of the mountain are not victims. They would never let themselves be victims. It's about the other side, the opportunity. Stop the self-pity party. Stop crying. Stop doing all these things. Look, I'm going to tell you something. 80% of the people are happy that you got problems. And 20% do not care. Life has to move forward. It's very sad what happened to you. And it's very sad what might have happened in the past and all these things. But you cannot wallow in all this self-pity and feel so sorry for yourself and all these things. You can't. Because if you're trying to improve your life, you don't have time for it. You don't. We are so afraid to be alone that we would rather keep toxic relationships going. And that is such a dishonesty to yourself. How dare you? Because honestly, if you are in a toxic environment, you will never thrive. Because you will always try to go up and they will always push you back down. Because you have to realize one thing, You can change how you feel, but you cannot change how other people treat you. You can't change that. And that is not your responsibility. If you are living in a toxic environment, if you have a toxic relationship, I would suggest that you keep to yourself. Don't try to interact with those people because they will drain you. Because sometimes it be our own family that is toxic, and that hurts the most. But keep to yourself. Don't be around negative people. And even if they are negative, and they come to you, and they want to drain you and whatever, don't give them your energy. Because you know one thing you have power over is how you respond to people don't you dare give them your energy. They do not deserve that at all.